Okay, we're going to do a sequence of operations, this BLU furnace. So I'm going to give it a call for heat. Okay, that, that relay right there started up the inducer up here. And the pressure switch had to make before the ignition control. We'll take a look at it. There could begin its sequence. Okay, here we can see the hot surface igniter come on and the burners will come on uh, after it warms. Okay, now the burners are on. I do have the cover off of this. This is not how it's going to look when it's uh, normally burning. You're not going to see this. This one used a heat operated fan switch, which is right there and when the temperature gets up high enough then that fan switch will turn on and the cycle is complete. This furnace also has two limits in that heat operated fan switch. There is a limit switch if for some reason the fan didn't come on or whatever it had plug filter or so on uh, that will uh, kick off if the furnace overheats. Now there's one other type of limit on this uh, furnace. We're going to show this one to you next. This next one is a rollout switch. It's right there in the center. Right there. Now what it's supposed to do is if the flame should roll out here and it what it's supposed to do is if the flame rolls out here or even rolls out there, it's going to come up and it's going to hit this little doicky right there. That's a high temperature fuse. Uh, gets about 300 and some degrees and it will blow. Now it's a one time fuse so that if it blows, it's off. That's time for somebody to come out and take a look at this thing because it should not have rolled out flame out the front. So that's how that one sequences.